Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product, it's called Trading Hotkeys. Finally, now you can use your keyboard or any other controller for trading uh, on your CTrader platform. If you're a scalper or you're caring about the speed of your execution, you can get rid of some uh, latency by using keyboard and using uh, by using this uh, C bot. You now you can use your keyboard to execute orders on your uh, trading account or cancel close open orders. Let's start by add. It's already installed on my platform, as you can see. If you install it, uh, install this uh, C bot now. You can search for its name uh, on your chart. Uh, uh, C bots. It's called Trading Hotkeys. You can, uh, as you can see, it appear here on search result. I will click on it. Here you can see the. Uh, all of the you know Cbot parameters. Uh, each uh, functionality of uh, Cbot categorized on uh, differently. So we have buy market, sell market, buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, and the buy stop uh, limit, sell stop limit. Also, we have two other functionality: close and cancel uh, and break even. So how it works is like this. Uh, suppose you want to open a market order with 10 pips uh, stop loss, 10 pips take profit and uh, 0 0.01 lots uh, volume size. You can set the values here for buy market order, the amount of a stop loss in pips, uh, amount of take profit, the maximum slippage. It's optional. If you set any value above zero, uh, it will use market range order, which is another type of order in CTrader that uh, requires a maximum acceptable slippage amount. If the slippage amount is higher than that amount, your order will not be executed. So you can set this to zero if you don't want to use that, that functionality. Also here you have the lots, uh, same for sell market and other order types. You can set the amount, amount of volume for your orders that will be executed. Do you want to have a trailing stop or a normal stop? If you want to have a C trader trailing stop, then you can turn on this uh, parameter to set it to yes. Also you have the stop method. If you set a uh, stop loss for your order, uh, otherwise you can set this to zero if you don't want to have a stop loss or you, you can also set this to zero if you don't want to have a take profit but for for now we will set it back to 10 and here we have a stop method this is stop method is we are uh, also in a C trader create uh, order window it has four options trade opposite double trade double opposite it uh, sets uh, based on what price your stop loss will trigger ask bid i think it's something like that so you can set this uh, here uh, the default value is trade you can set it to any other option if you want to the most important thing is in here is the key and combination key parameters. Key allows you to select a keyboard key for triggering this um, uh, command or function. Uh, by default, uh, here it's set to N, which means the N key of keyboard. And uh, you can set it to any other key of your keyboard. All keys are here, as you can see left control right control left shift right shift tab everything is here so by default it's set to n i leave it to n also there is a combination key this parameter is optional it's uh, everywhere in all other futures as you can see combination key combination key this is optional because uh, you don't need it uh, but uh, it's good to have it uh, as um, uh, several apps uh, that are running on your system might use hotkeys and uh, if you just press a single key it might uh, not catch the key because other apps are over listening to that key so if you have a combination key it will avoid that conflict between apps and you can use it to, for, specifically for your, uh, your trading so if uh, by default it is set to left control key if I set it to none it means I will not use any um, uh, combinational key and uh, I can just trigger the buy market order by pressing N now it's set to left control key. I leave it uh, like that, it's good. Uh, I can press uh, left control key first, then press N to execute a market order. Same here you have for sell market order, same uh, parameters, key, combination key, 
and for by limit cell limit they have their own uh, extra parameters like distance the distance parameter is the amount of distance from price so a limit order order will have a distance if it's a buy limit order it will be below the market price if it is a a cell uh, limit order it will be above the market price 10 pips in this case you can change this for same for cell limit it also has a, a expiry parameter by default there is no expiry so it's set to all zero 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 uh, the format of this is hours minutes seconds so you might say okay so what if i want to set 10 day expiry or two day expiry you can do that by adding a dot uh, 2.00 uh, zero zero. this means two day expiry you can increase the amount this is the amount of days you can set it to 100 days or if you don't have, want to have a, a day you just can set it in hours minutes and seconds so let's go down also for a stop orders we have a stop uh, order trigger method it's same like a stop loss trigger method but it's for order price not for stop loss we have a stop limit, buy stop limit, mm -hmm. and we have cancel and close. The close is for positions, cancel is for pending orders. You have uh, this uh, position type parameter which allows you to set what kind of positions you want to close. Uh, by default, it's set to sample. So if I press control, left control V, it will close only the current sample open positions. If I set it to all, it will close all open positions. If I set it to profitable, it will close only those positions that have a net profit of above zero. Or losing positions, it will close only those positions with net profit below zero. So but you also have the only buy, only sell and uh, the amount of volume so if i set this to 50 percent instead of 100 percent which is the default value it will close only half of those positions uh, volume not full posi uh, position by default it's set to 100 you can change it if you want to and for cancel we also have order type here but uh, we don't have profitable and losing we have limit stop stop limit or all pending orders same key and combination key parameter also there is another uh, feature it's called break even it allows you to move uh, your positions uh, stop loss to break even if your positions are in profit and you want to move their stop loss levels uh, or add a break even stop loss for them you can use this option it will add x pips away from entry price of position a break even stop loss if it's uh, in profitability if it's not in uh, if the position is not in profit then you can't set a break even stop loss for it by default the pips amount is 5 it means if i press left control b and i have an uh, open position with 10 pips uh, profit uh, the bot will add a break even stop loss for that position at 5 pips of profit okay these are license and error, license error update message. If you're using the Cbot for the first time, you if you run it, you will see a licensing form. You can click on free trial if you want to do trial, or if you purchase the uh, Cbot, you can enter your email and order ID, and it will activate the Cbot for you. Also, you have the update message. If in case you want to be notified for new versions, you can set this to yes and. Uh, update notification will appear on a corner of your chart so leave we will leave those let's start the cbot and try to execute some orders with our keyboard okay unfortunately i can show you my keyboard that i'm pressing the key but you will see that i don't have uh, i will not click on anything on the uh, uh, c reader and uh, i will press only keys and you will see that orders will execute okay so i have to press ctrl n ctrl m and for closing I have to press Control V. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. I will apply. Okay, it's here. I have to click Start. Let's see the C bot. I will clear this. Okay. Now I will press Left Control plus N. Okay. I will keep press the Left Control and I will press press the N key. Okay. As you can see, I have a buy. Uh, euro pound 10 pips sl 10 pips uh, tp mm -hmm. here label is trading hotkeys because it's executed by this c -bot. let's now uh, execute a sell order okay i have a sell order now as you can see 
let's close the both of these positions. If I don't, if I'm right, it was I can't left control V. I think yes, both positions got closed as you can see. Now let's place some pending orders. Uh, control K. Yeah, it is limit order. Yeah, what's Control G? Control G is a stop limit order. Yeah, I have two pending orders right now, as you can see. Now I want to close these positions. How can I do that? I think it was Control X. Yes. Oh, as you can see, both pending orders got closed. And uh, this is how it works. It's very easy, and uh, you can use this for with your controllers if you don't want to use keyboard. The you can is most of the controllers uh, you can buy right now support key mapping with keyboard. So what you will do is you map the keys of this uh, C bot with your controller uh, app. Uh, set suppose if I press X on my controller, it will trigger can left control press M. Or if you don't use combinational keys, you can say say if I press K uh, X on my controller, it will trigger uh, M key on my keyboard. So that way you can leave alone your uh, keyboard and mouse and just use the controller to trade. It's very good for people who care a lot about execution speed. So this video in here, if you have any question, please leave a comment or ask. you can ask us uh, your questions uh, on our site. This is the first version of the CBOT. We will estimate how um, the community will react. And if you got good feedback, we might add new features based on your uh, request. Try it. Uh, the, uh, it has a 14-day free trial. You don't have to give us any of your uh, email or anything. You can directly download it from our site and start using it for 14 days for free. Bye, everyone.